Spring in February continues today, so it's time for a quick check to see how our food supplies are doing and a quick video to keep you all up to speed. With temperatures nearing 70 degrees here in the middle of February, uh, it was time to take a look at the bees. They were very, very active today, and it's very nice to see them out and flying. But that also means that they're consuming a lot of food, and there's nothing out in the fields for them to eat. Nobody was buzzing around the community feeder, and that's a good sign that their internal stores are pretty good. Generally speaking, cleansing flights are cleansing flights, not foraging flights, unless the hive is starving. Our first hive, well, looks like they have plenty of sugar, and eaten a bit of their pollen patties, but um, at least they had food, so that was a good thing. Although today's temperature was close to 70, there was freezing rain and snow and freezing temperatures in the forecast for the weekend, so winter is not really done with us. The Troy hive looked good, so it was on to Mesopotamia. Okay. Still got good feed. Good. I was quite happy with what I saw inside our previously feral beehive. So, let's take a look at the last one. The wheat colony, Atlantis. My hope is that all three queens uh, are now stepping up their brood rearing. Brood takes about 21 days to hatch and a few more days around hanging in the colony before they go out and start foraging. So in other words, the eggs being laid today will be the worker bees that first go out and hit the first pollen flow when the trees come and bloom in early April. So it is important that our workforce is in place. Provided the queen is doing her job, pollen uptake and food uptake in general will start to skyrocket as the young larvae are being fed making sure that these food supplies are available to the bees becomes very critical from now until April. So we're going to keep a careful eye on things because we want our workforce in place. A couple of hive beetles in there. Amazing those suckers made it through winter. But good to see the girls about and around. Can I get some more sugar in this one? I think we're good for the moment. We also have two packages of bees that are going to show up around April 2nd. So we want to be prepared for them. We want these colonies in place so we can give our attention to the new bees. So for now, we got two hives that I have a lot of confidence in. This one I'm going to have to feed, but at least there's strength in it. And I believe they got brood on all three of those. Don't know without going in there. But uh, the uptake of pollen tells me that they're probably raising brood. It's a little too early to switch them over to sugar water. We do have some freezing temperatures ahead. Probably in a week or so, I'll put a bottle in the community feeder and see if they take to it. Once we get into March and things start to warm up consistently, then I'm gonna start changing them over to a liquid feed on the individual hives to get that last buildup done so that they are ready to go forage when the trees come and bloom. See you all next week.